I believe this is the most important step for recording, mixing, and mastering. But people talk about this very rarely. I have seen a master of mixing, Andrew Sheps, who worked with Red Hot Chili Peppers, Adele, Green Day, and many more, talked about this once. If you are trying to set recording, mixing, and even mastering levels, you should do this first before watching all kinds of level meters, like LUFS, True Peak Meter, VU, and so on. Yes, absolutely, this relates to gain staging. So now you might be curious about what this is. Let's roll the intro. Okay, before you set recording and mixing levels, you need to set up volume knob properly. Include attenuation knob in power amps or active speakers. I believe that the volume knob or volume pod is the important gear right after monitor, converter, and your room acoustics. But people easily forget how important this is. Even though you have amazing monitors and well acoustically treated room, but you don't have proper A volume control, then your volume knob in the most audio interface will suck out cell frequencies and more. I use this Coleman Audio M3PH almost 10 years. Mine works as plus minus 0.5 dB step level control so that I don't guess where I need to set my volume knob depends on what I'm doing. By the way, I'm not trying to set a fancy monitor controller. Any Passive volume knob with step level control will do the work. Here is how to set monitor level properly with any monitors in your room. First, play the music that you are familiar with. I prefer a well-produced and mastered music like Daft Punk, Random Access Memories. Second, set the volume knob at 9 o'clock for listening. If you use the step volume pod, you don't need to guess where 9 o'clock is. Now you can adjust attenuation knob in active speakers or power amps to set to comfortable listening levels. Don't go too loud, your ear gets tired quickly. If you can hear what you're saying clearly while you are listening, it's good for a start. For recording music or anything, I set the volume knob around 11 to 2 o'clock, depends on the genre of the music. If you do this, you won't gonna worry about clipping any recording chain like a mic, preamp, converter, or track in your DAW. Also, you don't need to rely only on level meters. I have got all kinds of music for mixing from clients. When I open sessions, the first thing I do is clip gain everything properly. Because people usually record track with the volume knob setting, like what I do for listening to a master track, like my 9 o'clock settings. So when you look at sessions, everything was recorded too loud. Back in the days, before the digital audio, people tried to record harder than now to avoid noise. But these days, you don't need to do that. As long as you do not clip the source, it's fine. But if you follow how I do, it's better. Also, you are going to do the gain staging properly. For mixing music, I set a volume knob around 10 to 12 o'clock, depends on the genre of the music. For mastering music, I set a volume knob at 9 o'clock or below. Also depends on the music. For video content like this YouTube tutorial, my volume knob is at 9 o'clock. If you go to mastering studios, you can see mastering engineers do that also, but the volume knob setting is different. Do I not watch any level meters? I do watch all kinds of level meters, depends on what I'm doing, but I don't rely only on them. That is for today's video. If you liked this tutorial and found it helpful, make sure you hit this video with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And I will see you in the next one. 안녕!